Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you why Dolly is still the best outpainting tool available in the market. There are a lot of AI image generation tools out there. For example, the Stable Diffusion 2.1, Mid Journey, and a lot of other new models are coming up every single day. But if it comes to outpainting, I still think Dolly has not got anybody closer to what Dolly can do it. It's not just about that Dali can create images, but also the intuitive UI and a very fast image generation makes Dali much ahead of everybody else in terms of outpainting. For example, I took this picture of Kristen Stewart from the internet and I converted this picture into this. So as you can see, the original picture is just half of the portrait of this actress. But what we actually did is we created an enlarged or we created a vertically long picture. This way, you can not just increase the size of the image, but also you can change the dimensions that you want. For example, if you have taken a simple square image and you want to create an image for Instagram, you can use this Dali outpainting to do that. So I'm going to show you how you can take an image and then do outpainting using Dali outpainting. And the outpainting is not just simply another square image, but you can create image based on the requirement that you have got. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to log in to Dali. For example, if you have not got Dali access, sign up for the access. And for the first time, you're going to log into labs.openai.com. Labs.openai.com. After you log in here, you have to upload an image. For example, in my particular case, I've got this image, which is the input image of Kristen Stewart. After I upload this image, Dali is going to ask me to crop the image. So you need to crop the image to a square image. Click the right square image that you want and then click crop. After you click crop, you have to select whether you want to generate variations or you want to edit the image. I want to edit the image. So I've clicked edit image. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that this, this square is not occupying the entire space of my canvas. So for example, you can see now it's occupying the entire space of my canvas but I'm going to reduce the size so that I can see the rest of the part of the canvas as well. Now I've got a 1024 by 1024 image. Now it's up to me. I need to make a choice whether I want a vertically long image or a horizontally long image. I mean the di dimensions are something that you need to play with. Let us say that we want a vertically long image. So how are we going to create the image? I have to click here, which is going to add a generation frame. So click this and then add a generation frame. Make sure that your generation frame overlaps with the existing image. Otherwise, Dali cannot learn from the existing image and your outpainting would be very bad because ideally it is going to try to create a new image. So add this generation frame where it overlaps with the existing image like this in this case click it and then you have to add a prompt while you are going to add a prompt for out painting make sure the prompt represents the entire picture not that the generation frame that you added what do i mean by that you do not have to add a prompt related to this empty canvas on alternatively you have to add a prompt that describes the entire image so i'm going to say an actress winning an award in a award ceremony and I'm going to click generate and then we are going to see how Dali can create this generation like I said Dali is not just good at out painting but the user interface also makes it really seamless and easy for us to use so let's create an image let's see okay this looks a little this looks a lot bad then this looks bad as well bad this is slightly better but uh, none of these things look good to me and that's probably because this is now coming down to human anatomy and as you can see how it looks let's say we stick to this image and then we accept it after you accept it now you can increase this image like for example if you want to make this image slightly a wide angle image so i can go ahead add another generation frame here and then i can say the same thing an actress winning an award in an award ceremony with um 
with uh, with uh, a movie poster in the background i don't know if it's going to help us create movie poster because everybody knows that dali is quite bad at text rendering but again we want to give some information to it so that it can fill that space for us and that is exactly what it is doing now and one important thing for you to keep in mind is every time you generate an image you're going to run out of one credit this is bad, 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 this is bad. But you can see how coherent it is with the text. You can see that information. And I mean, it does, it does something. So let's leave this Christian Stewart and start a new image from scratch. I'm going to leave this page, go back to my Dali landing page. And for us, this time, instead of using a real picture, let's go to lexica.art and pick an image that has been created using stable diffusion. So let's look at this image which says Dwayne Johnson as Buzz Lightyear and we are going to download this image, save the image and let's use this image for DALI outpainting. So I've saved this image. I'm going to go back to DALI, click upload an image, select this image. As you can see this image is already vertically, um, It's the aspect ratio is quite vertical. So we need to crop it as a square image. After we crop it, click edit image. And then you can add a frame where you want. So you can add a frame either on the side or you can add a frame that is quite on the bottom side. So I'm going to add a frame here which says here somewhere here. I'm going to mark it here and then say Captain Captain Buzz Light here speeding up. And I'm going to click generate. So I, I do not know if Dali has got the image of Captain Buzz light here, but at least I expect Dali to fill it in with a typical astronaut image so that um, the image looks coherent. Okay, that looks nice. This doesn't look nice. This doesn't. This looks nice actually. This doesn't look nice. This this looks okay. And the next thing is we can actually expand this image on the right hand side as well. Let's accept this here and then go add another image here where we would ideally expect his hand as well and let's click generate and now it's going to fill in the image this would ideally work when your image the smaller image is technically looking like something that is part of a much bigger image the image that you pick for this also matters in this case for example you can see how it looks with the hand you can try another image this looks slightly weird this is weird this has a good hand this has a slightly smaller hand, but this looks much better so I can add another frame here and uh, accept this. I can add another frame here and that says, let's say, let me, let me, let me even use this entire frame. I can say the same thing and click generate and it's going to fill in for us. So technically we used a smaller image of Dwayne Johnson as Captain Buzz Lightyear or just simply Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear. And we are going, we are using Dali. To fill in so it looks like this looks like this it looks like this this is much better for me and again i can accept it come back and then i can add another frame here and uh, let's say if you don't like in, in our case while doing out painting let's say i don't like the the leg the let's say the the leg part looks a little weird so what we can do is we can erase it we can erase it here and we can say like this we can erase it and then I can add a generation frame here and I can say full astronaut body of Captain Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear speeding and then I can generate it now to see if Dali can actually fill in the image with a much precise lower body than what it had before and this is exactly how you can build bigger images as you can see okay this looks bad quite bad this looks bad as well this looks bad this looks like there are two people there um and you can see it's because you know you have uh, you have tried to cover it but again overall you can see how this entire outpainting works and like i said at the start of the video i still believe dali has the best outpainting in terms of the outpainting quality and also in terms of the intuitive ui which makes it really easier for you to outpaint and like i said before every time you do outpainting you are going to finish one credit. So keep that in mind for every single canvas that you create. 
you're going to run out of out one credit and that creates you four images out of which you have to select one in case if you do not like any of those then you have to um, do the regeneration again so that can be expensive if you have to do a lot of trial and error but keeping that aside i think dali is the best outpending tool it's very easy for you to change the aspect ratio improve the resolution change or create images for social media from a simple portrait using dali outpending i hope this was tut this tutorial was helpful to you if you have got any question please let me know in the comment section otherwise happy prompting